Hey, how is it going, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel of Petroleum from Scratch. I am Jay Char, and this is Petroleum Data Analytics and Machine Learning playlist. So till now, we have covered NumPy library and discussed in detail on NumPy and its ND array object, which provides an efficient way for storing and manipulating dense to type arrays in Python. Now, this video starts our uh, starts so uh, this video marks our starting point in the next part in the journey of becoming a petroleum data scientist. So we are going to start learning Pandas library, the library that is responsible for making Python as the favorite programming language for using it in your data science project. So Pandas is a newer package built on the top of a NumPy. So basically, uh, we need uh, NumPy need to be installed in your system if you want to start uh, using Pandas. So let us start our discussions uh, for Pandas. That what is Pandas and why it is used. So Pandas is basically an open source Python library that provides high performance data manipulation and analysis tools, which are very useful. These tools are uh, the, it also provides some powerful data structures. These data structures are one dimensional data structures series and two dimensional data structures data frame. Basically, pandas is nothing but your Microsoft Excel of your Python, but much, much faster and stronger. And uh, as I said, pandas is built on the top of pandas is built on the top of NumPy. So NumPy library need to be installed in your system before you uh, install pandas. And pandas, the name pandas is derived from the word panel data, which is nothing but an econo, uh, econometrics from multidimensional data. Now this panel data, what was the panel data is basically the data that contains observations about different cross sections across times. So from that econometric uh, name, the pandas derived panel data, P-A-N and D -A, pandas. And as I said before pandas, Python was just used for data munging and preparation. It has a very little contribution towards data analysis or the, the, the thing that helps uh, in our uh, data science projects. So basically R was used a lot in earlier days, but uh, in, uh, Python was just used for data munging only. Data munging is the initial process of refining raw data into format that is required. But after the introduction of the pandas after the after the introduction of pandas in 2008 as the pandas comes into play now pandas helped a lot in became, uh, helped a lot in uh, becoming the uh, in becoming python the most uh, most suited lang lang programming language for data science project using pandas we can accomplish multiple uh, find tip five typical steps that are used for analyzing analyzing and processing data. These steps are loading the data. You can load data from any document. You can load data from Excel, CSV, from websites, HTML pages, or anything. Pandas provide you functions for loading data from anywhere. You can prepare data. You can manipulate the data. You can change the data. For example, you have some, uh, initially you have a raw data that is consisting of a multiple null values or that is also having some wrong values so you can prepare that you can manipulate the whole data according to you then you can model the data you can analyze the data pandas also provide pandas plot uh, plotting things that can that helps you to visualize the you visualize your data at the initial step of any data science project. So what happens that you, initial steps of your data science project are that you get the data and you have a problem statement that, okay, we need to solve this problem. And here is your uh, data that you can use for uh, developing your, uh, your algorithm. So before proceeding towards the machine learning steps, you need to know about your data. You need to make your, the data your best friend and how you make a, somebody your friend by asking questions, by knowing them. And pandas provide you that medium for knowing your data. So there are some uh, advantages of uh, pandas that make uh, it a wonderful library. These are uh, it is a fast and efficient way. Uh, it provides fast and efficient ways for manipulating and analyzing data. Data uh, data from different file objects, for example, CSV, either it is a CSV Excel file or PDF file or even HTML. You can load them inside your uh, Python so that you can play with that data, you can manipulate that data, or you can understand that data. 
it also provides easy ways for handling missing data as there are certain functions that we are going to discuss in our further coming videos that how to handle null values or how to handle outliers using pandas and it, the pandas data frames and a series uh, not series the pandas data frame are size mutable which means that you can insert new columns and delete columns from a data frame or you can insert new rows also and delete rows uh, you can manipulate a lot of things in your data pandas also provide you option for merging and joining the data set uh, the way that you use in uh, sql for merging two data sets or for merging two excel files or that also you can do in pandas just like sql you can merge data set or you can join data sets pandas provide flexible reshaping and pivoting of data sets as you make uh, pivot tables in excel in a similar way you can make those pivot uh, data sets in pandas also and one of the greatest advantage of panda is, pandas is it provides time series functionality most of the data that we deal in oil and gas industry for example production data is a time series data you have a time uh, time you have a date or time that okay at certain day uh, at 12 pm my production rate was this this estimate per day in that way you have a time series data and pandas provide brilliant functions for handling this time series for handling this time series data so it is it it has a uh, a lot of functionality in handling time series data that is one of the greatest advantage of pandas and it provides uh, provides powerful group by functions also for performing split apply or combine op operation on various data sets so they, these all things we will discuss in our uh, upcoming videos it was uh, just a brief video for uh, introduction it was just a video for brief introduction to pandas so you can know that what from pandas library what you can do again the first point starting point for our pandas first line of code is importing pandas as we also discussed in numpy how do we import in numpy by import numpy as np in a similar way you can import pandas as pd just write the code import pandas at, as pd and pd uh, is nothing but alias as we used np for our numpy you can also use some other name for example instead of pd you can use kd or anything and uh, in uh, this alias is used so that you don't have to write the whole name pandas so in this way we are going to start our journey to uh, journey towards pandas by importing it and it is import uh, important so in our next video we are going to start our discussion about the two data structures that are available in pandas that are series and data frame series is the one dimensional data structure and data frame is our two dimensional data structures so now our journey has started in our pandas i hope you will like these videos i hope this will be this pandas tutorial will be very helpful for you thank you have a good day bye bye